welcome into Gang Green Manor. Tonight we visit the carnival and check out the Petruccio family, a high-flying trapeze act that features a death-defying stunt. We saved you a great seat, center ring. I call this story The Aerialist. All right. That's okay. Now, let me see your wrist, Mario. I can do it myself. You like her, Sheila? Why don't you stop treating me like I was six years old? Please, stop worrying. Hey, hey, it's Papa I worry about, you know? Those wrists, they gotta catch him. Oh. <laughs> His wrists are okay. The rest of him, not so okay. Lay off. Oh, come on. You two fighting again? It's been easy, If Papa would just mind his own business. I give him a father's advice. He doesn't listen. That's his funeral. Carlotta. That fancy wife of his. Oh, I'm happy you didn't forget we got a show to do today. Paula, you see Carlotta anywhere? Yeah, right outside. She's yakking with that red other fellow. You know, the guy who takes care of you. Hey, Carlotta! Come, we've got to get ready. So I'm ready. In old country, women don't talk to every bum that passes in town. Old country, old country, old country. Take a look at the map. This is the USA. So, in the USA, they got a no regard for honor, eh? No, no respect for family uh, name. Family name. Well, that don't mean nothing, hey, eh? Papa. Uh, please, please, eat, eat your chocolates. Amazing Petruccios are at it again. What were you doing out there? Check with the FBI. I like that. How many times do I have to tell you I don't hand out timetables? No scope time. Could be I married the wrong Petruccio. She doesn't mean anything. She just uh, got a crazy sense of humor. You know? Nice crowd out front. No one sitting on their hands. I'm not gonna stand for this no more. No more making eyes to every man that passes. No more telling her your own abroad. Papa, she was kidding. Peace! Everybody's laughing behind our backs. Everybody's saying, a poor Mario. She's gonna be a good wife, or out she goes. Don't tell me out she goes, she's my wife. You do, like I tell you. And don't count on it. I hope the blood is dry by the time I have to catch you. Mario! He does not mean that. No, he doesn't mean it. He, he lost his temper, that's all. Like you, Gino. Come on, come on, Jenny. Prepare it. Come on, don't take the water.
Papa, Mario didn't mean that. like good old Mario has some slippery fingers. Guess he shouldn't have had that second slice of pepperoni pizza before he went on stage. Well, while you try to get a grip on yourself, we'll be back after these commercials. What novel was the film The Haunting based on? Answer after these messages. love our furry friends, but did you know that pet waste can contaminate the ground and water where we live and exercise? Always clean up after your pet using a biodegradable bag and place it in the nearest trash receptacle. Good boy. Remember, it's not what you don't do, it's what you do do. Go green with Dr. Game Green. What novel was the film The Haunting based on? Answer, The Haunting of Hill House by Shirley Jackson, 1959. Welcome back. The woman that plays Carlotta in tonight's episode is none other than actress Yvette Vickers, who specialized in playing trampy harlots through the years. Now, she starred in a couple of movies that she's best remembered for, Attack of the 50-Foot Woman and Attack of the Giant Leeches. Now, back to tonight's episode. Doctor, how is he? Well, he's going to live. Oh, dear, no, not indeed. Dear, he's a tragedy. Oh, thank you, Dante. Not thank yet. you. Not yet. Don't thank me yet. He's paralyzed. Every nerve, every muscle in his body. He can't talk. He can't turn his head. Oh. How long he will be like that? I don't know. Mad like pop. Strong like a boy of 20. He's awake now. You can oh, see him for a few moments. Oh, sure a dumb thing to do, running off like that. I couldn't help it. How does he look? Well, if you ask me, it would have been better if he'd have died. Don't talk like that. I saw him. You didn't. He's like a mummy or something. Hey, shut up. I tell you, it gives you the creep just looking at him. I said shut up. Look, Buster. It's been a pretty tough night for all of us. But just don't get smart with me because I won't put up with it. You're not that big a bargain. Remember that. Carlotta, I'm sorry. I, I couldn't go in to look at him. 
I knew what I would see in his eyes. Another, I didn't drop him. Well, who said you did? His eyes would say I did. Welcome home. I was just picking up a few things. I asked Carlotta, but she was busy. I went to visit your dad the other day. Did your ma tell you? You know, no one ever accused C.C. Higgins of being a betting man. But I've got a $20 bill that says Senior Gino Petruzio is going to be back up on that trapeze within a year. Every time I call the hospital, Always no change. Oh, don't give me that no change. I saw that old Latin sparkle in his eyes. What's the hurry? Got lots of things to take care of. Oh, come on, Mario. Give me a break. I'm not trying to push you, but when are you coming back to work? Sorry, Mr. Higgins. No more of that for me. It's been three weeks. Every Thursday, there's been a paycheck, just like you were still bringing in the customers. Mr. Higgins, I have... How long can that go on? Fair's fair, boy. Now, a week from Wednesday, we are moving on to Chicago. I want you and Paul and Collada to be with us. I wouldn't go back on the trapeze if you gave me the whole circus and let me wear a parachute. Do you know what those doctor's bills are going to be like? Don't worry. They'll be paid. Walk out on me and I won't pay them. Mr. Petruccio? Sit down. Sit down. You didn't answer half the questions, Mr. Petruzio. The stupid questions. They made me nervous. These job classification tests are very important. They're an attempt to approach employment on a scientific basis. Scientific? A sees an airplane flying overhead in the northerly direction. What are you going to get me here? A job watching airplanes? The idea is to measure intelligence. Advertise, you get people jobs if they pay. Okay, I got money to pay. I don't want a bunch of stupid tests. I want a job. Have you done any other kind of work? I mean, besides the circus? I told you, I've been working on a trapeze since I was 11 years old. You haven't even answered the questions about education. Once my mama, she paid a bookkeeper with the circus to teach my brother and me how to read and write. Frankly, I don't know what to suggest. I mean, it's almost impossible without previous experience of some sort. Uh, there might be work as a laborer. Laborer? Well, the pay is very good, sometimes as high as $3 an hour. Hey, mister, I made 400 bucks a week last year. I've got to pay you to get me a job for 3 bucks an hour? Perhaps you should go back. Hey, I didn't come here for no tests. And I don't come here for no advice. Maybe you... Well, I don't know what I thought. I'd just be rotten. 
Would you send up a bellboy, please? I almost visited the department today. Uh, he sure came close. <laughs> Look what I bought. Italian cigars. Boy, they're like sticks of dynamite. Does he love them? And how's he supposed to smoke them? It's just the idea of the thing. Like a peace offering. Like I was thinking about him. Sit me up. I bought the cigars. And I went down to 6th Street to catch the bus that goes to the hospital. And I would tell the nurse who I was. I'm Mario Petruccio, the oldest son. And I've come to spend an hour with my father. And I would walk right down the hall, no thinking about anything. Right into room 612, and I would pull up a chair. And I'd say, hey, Papa. Papa, I bought you some of these lousy cigars so you could dig up the whole place. That's not what I would say. I would drop to my knees, and I would say, Papa. Say you know I didn't let you fall. Say you know so I can live. I couldn't. I couldn't face it. Come on in. Right there. Where, where are we going? I'm going. But you can. Watch me. You can. Listen, Buster. It wasn't exactly a bed of roses, even when you were one of the magnificent Petruccios. Go home to Mama, Mario. She'll make you a thick minestrone soup, and everything will be just fine. Papa was right about you. Papa said you were no good. <laughs> Looks like good old Mario's lost his marbles or had a little too much to drink. We'll be back with the finale of tonight's movie after these messages. What year was the original House on Haunted Hill released in theaters? Answer after these messages. Summertime's here and everyone likes to get outside and enjoy the outdoors. But to keep the environment a safe, clean place, we need everyone's help. Cigarette litter is a fire hazard, environmental danger, and litter nuisance. Filters on a cigarette take years to decompose and can threaten aquatic life and water supplies. Take a second to properly dispose of cigarette butts in an ashtray or approved receptacle. Remember, considerate smokers don't litter. Don't be a bonehead. Dispose of those butts properly. And remember to go green with Dr. Gang Green. What year was the original House on Haunted Hill released in theaters? Answer, 1959. Welcome back. Do you recognize the actor that's playing Mario in tonight's movie? That's none other than actor Mike Connors, who's best remembered as Detective Mannix in the TV show with the same name from the 1970s. <laughs> I say you to probably be here. Hey, Pete, another. Mama sent me. Tell her I'm okay. She didn't send me to see if you are okay. We need some more money. Here. Tell her to buy herself 10 pounds fancy chocolates, compliments of her oldest son. That's all you have? That's it. That's the whole bankroll. So what are we supposed to do? Look, I sent you 100 bucks last week. That was two weeks ago. What do you want, blood? I tried to get a job. Me too, I tried. And the mailman still keeps coming around, still with around the clock nurses. You should see the bill we got from the specialist who flew out here last month. Done him a lot of good, huh? He's alive. Hey, Paul. What do you want me to do? Ask me something hard. 
Call Mr. Egg in Chicago and tell we are coming back. No. All right. You tell me how we get money. I get a pain in my stomach just thinking about the trapeze. Besides, what are you talking about? Look at me. I'm out of condition. I'm staying. The exercise trapeze is still on a practice shelf. Hey, it would take me months to get back time. Mr. Higgins said we can use it any time we want it. I can't do it. You own it too far. I went too far. I owe Papa one thing. Papa, one thing. Okay, Papa. Now it's your turn to drop a feet. How could that be? His arms are paralyzed. Well, I called the doctors right away and they took him right up to the neurosurgical room. Excuse me. Must have been your imagination. He can't even move his little finger. Well, how about that? Mario's dad somehow appeared miles away to save the day despite his body lying in a coma. Now that's talent. You see, kids, that's why you should always be nice to your parents. Well, that wraps up this week's episode of Dr. Gangreen Presents. Until next time, this is Dr. Gangreen saying, 
stay mad.